guys, Komodo Rich here. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I need you to like, subscribe, and uh, you know, hit the bell for this so you can get notifications anytime I put up a video. It'd be really great for me. I'm trying to grow my channel to be able to get out there and reach more people. Uh, I also want to do a lot of fun stuff with my channel, and I'm hoping to get everything rolling with that. And I really can't do that without your guys' help. So if you can put the word out there, if you can share the video, like the video, you know, leave a subscription and hit the bell, that'd be great. Um, this video today we're going to be kind of going through, and I'm going to show you, like, uh, it was something that was kind of discussed with somebody. People uh, are constantly, like, trying to turn the key and having to jiggle it to get the key and the ignition to work. And I've tried to explain it to a few times. Um to a few different people and I've showed them, but uh, I just figured I'd go ahead and make a video showing the inside of ignition, how it looks, what it works, how it works, and uh, you know what you're actually doing when you're maneuvering the key around and jiggling it. Uh, you don't have to jiggle the key, and I kind of want to kind of put that out there. So uh, I'm gonna do this real quick video, real quick walkthrough. Uh, should only take a couple minutes, but you'll learn something. And uh, please like the video, share the video if you know anybody, uh, any any of the groups. It works for pretty much all of the bikes, and um, you know it's it's real simple. So here, without further ado, I'm gonna get right into it. Thanks for watching. All right, so I have a uh, I'm gonna address an issue that a lot of people have with motorcycles, and that's pretty much this is the inside of your ignition. It's got seven cuts in there, and uh, this is the key. So when you're putting your key in the ignition. Okay, you see how these wafers are still sticking up just a little bit? That's not going to allow your key to turn. All right, and so what it is is this key isn't straight in the ignition. All bikes are like that because that's the way the springs are pushing the wafers up top. And so when you put it in there, what you have to do is you have to push the key up a little bit and then it levels out all of the wafers. So when everybody's jiggling and turning their key and they can't get it to turn, that's because the wafers are sticking up. If you just tip the key up a little bit, it straightens everything out and that's the way all bikes are it's gonna do it regardless so this is just a little bit of education on it you just tip it up everything lines up so Yamaha's pull back Suzuki's push forward um, you know those are the two that I know by heart I'm not sure of the rest but usually it's you just tip the key in one direction and it lines everything up this is it in the bike and so you can see that the key has just a little bit of movement. So right now, the key is not able to turn. And if you pull it back just a smidge, lines everything up. Okay. The wafers naturally push the key to the side here. And so that leaves everything not lined up. The key won't turn. You kind of hear it clicking. If you pull it back, lines the key up, and this turns on easy. If this helps, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.